hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create an animated website design that you can see on my computer screen here i have added this navigation bar with logo some links and one download button after that you can see main title and description and one button and in the right side you can see this featured image and in the background also we have added one image if i refresh this website you can see some animation the main title description and buttons are moving up with some time interval and the featured image is also moving up so we will create this website design with animation using html and css step by step so let's start this video here in this folder i have added index.html file and style.css file i have another folder called images and in this one you can see some images there's a logo you can find all these images download link in the video description now let me open these code file with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file where i have added margin padding box sizing and font family these css properties will be applicable for all the html elements in this html file i have added this title and after that we have added link tag with the href style.css so it will connect the html and css file next we will add the code in the body tag so here let's create one div and let's add a class name hero now we will add the css for this div so write this class name in the css file and here we will add width and height for this div Then we will add background image, URL and file path. So it is in images folder and the file name is backimage.png. Let's add the background position and background size. We will add some padding 10 pixel from top and bottom and 10% from left and right side so we'll get 10% space from the left side and right side and uh, overflow will be hidden after adding this let's come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser so you can see this image in the background now let me close this browser and i will open the browser with the visual studio code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code so you can see the same web page let me come back to the html file and within this div we will add the navigation bar so here we will add nav tag and in this one there will be a logo so write img tag file path of the logo and one class name for this logo after that there will be some links so we will add ulli and a so that it will be a clickable link and here we will add the link text duplicate this one and change the text after this link there will be another link and one button in the right side so here we will add a div and within this div within this div we will add one link with the a tag and the link text is login duplicate this one and in the second one we will add the text download app after that again refresh the website and now you can see we have some space in the left side there is a logo some links so let's add the css for the nav tags just copy this nav write it here in this css file and for this one we will add padding 10 pixel from top and bottom left right zero after that we will add display display will be flex and align items center and justify content will be a space between after that we will add the css for this logo just copy this one write it here for this logo we will add the width width will be 140 pixel after that we have the links in ul and li so here 
we will add nav ul li so here we will add the display display will be inline block and list style will be none and after that we will add some margin and in this li we have added the a tag so for this a tag we will add the text decoration none then we will add the color that will be the link text color after that we will add the font weight and if i refresh the website you can see the size for this logo is perfect then you can see these three links in the center and we have two links in the right side now we will design the links which is in the right side let's come back and here in the login link we will add a class name login btn and in this download app we will add the class name btn that's it after adding this let's copy this class name login btn and write it here in the css file and here we will add the text decoration none then color color will be this one and margin from the right side it will be 15 pixel and font weight will be 400 you can see this login link here next we will design this link which is download app and we will design it as a button so let's come back and copy this class name btn paste it here with a dot now for this button we will add display display will be inline block then we will add the text decoration none and some padding 14 pixel and 40 pixel then color it will be button text color then we will add the background of this button so we will add background image linear gradient and here we will add 45 degree then first color code then second color code after that we will add the font size for the text inside the button so font size will be 14 pixel border radius will be 30 pixel and border top right radius it will be zero after that again refresh the website now you can see the right side button looks good next we will add some title description and a button on this page so let's come back and come to the html file after closing of this snap tag we will add another div with the class name content and in this one we will add one title in h1 and here we will add br so it will change the line after that we will add description in p tag so this is the description and after this description there will be another link so write a tag and here also we will add a class name btn and the button text will be join now after adding this let's refresh the website again and here you can see this title description and a button so let's come back and copy this class name content write it here in the css file and for this content we need some space from the top so we will add margin top it will be 10 percent then we will add the maximum width for this div it will be 600 pixel now we have some space from the top and the width is maximum 600 pixel let's come back and again write this class name and in this one we have added the title with h1 tag so for this h1 we will add the font size font size will be very large 70 pixel and then we will change the color and after that we will add the css for the paragraph text that is inside this div so for this paragraph text we will add the margin it will be 10 pixel from top 0 from left and right 30 pixel from bottom then we will change the color 
and after that again refresh the website you can see the increased font size for this title the size for this description is also good next we will increase the size for this button so let's come back and here we will add dot content dot btn so for this button we will increase the padding so we will add the padding 15 pixel and 80 pixel then we will add the font size it will be 16 pixel now you can see the increased size for this button which is joined now next we will add the hover effect on these buttons so let's come back and here we will add dot btn and uh, hover so whenever we will take cursor over this button the border of the top right side will be round so here we will add border top right radius 30 pixel and uh, within this btn here we will add transition 0.5 seconds now you can see if i take cursor the top right corner of this button becomes round when i take cursor over it you can see the same effect in navigation bar button also which is download app after that we will add the featured image in the right side so let's come back and come to the html file just after closing of this div which is content here we will add one image tag file path of the image and a class name so we will add the class name feature img you can see this image at the bottom so let's come back and here we will add this class name feature img first we will add the width for this image width will be 530 pixel and after that we will add the position position will be absolute and bottom bottom will be zero and after that right right will be 10 percent here we are adding position absolute so in this hero we will add the position relative you can see the perfect size and position for this picture which is featured image now we have added all the contents on this web page next we have to add the animations so that all the contents will move up and it will be displayed with some time interval for that let's come back and uh, here in this html file we have added the title description and this link so in all of this we will add a class name anim anim sort for animation let's add this class name in this p also and in this link also so here we have added the class name btn so a space and then write a name for animation so we have added the same class name in this title description and this link and we need the same class name in this image also which is featured image so here also we will add one space and write anim after that we have to add the css for this anim write this class name in the css file here we will add the opacity opacity will be zero initially then we will add the transform translate y 30 pixel so it will move down by 30 pixel and after that we will add the animation move up 0.5 seconds linear forwards next we have to add the keyframes for this one so here we will add keyframes move up 100% then we have to change this opacity and this transform translate by so here we will add the opacity of 1 and copy this one paste it here 
transform translate y will be 0. After adding this, let's come back to the website. Here you can see if I refresh this website, all the contents are animated at the same time. It is moving up by 30 pixel and the opacity is also changing from 0 to 1. But we have to add the animation with some delay. First this text should display and after that this description will be displayed and after that this button and after that this feature image. So we will add the delay in this description, this button and this feature image. So for this description we will add CSS here in this content P. In this one we will add animation delay. It will be 0 0.5 seconds. Copy this one and we will add this delay in this button also content.btn and in this one we will add the animation delay of 1 second. Now we will add the delay in this feature image. So just copy this feature image and here we will add dot anim. There is no space between this class name. So here we will add the animation delay. one point five seconds after that again refresh the website now you can see the main title is displaying first after that this description then button and then feature image let me refresh the website again so you can see some delay in all the animation so finally we have created this animated website design using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video